I'm glad of one thing. I'm glad that a lot of you are, are really listening uh, to Pastor Fox. Um, I don't know what y'all doing, fact checking or whatever you want to call it, but Pastor Fox has the spirit of truth. Y'all understand that? <laughs> so, um, I mean, I'll comment, uh, but the bottom line is I can assure you that we agree 100%. Um, I've been preaching against the false doctrine of the pre-tribulation rapture ever since 1995 when it wasn't popular to even speak about. Um, as a matter of fact, people call me the crackpot and the coop, but you know, Matthew 24, 29 says it's so clear and I'll leave you to go read it for yourself. Uh, I will give you a portion of it. It says immediately after the tribulation of those days. And, um, most of you have adopted the attitude that you think you're going to get raptured out of here. You got another thing coming. And then of course, with that, most of you believe that you don't have to prepare that, um, you don't have to prepare for an evil day that's coming. Uh, you don't have to be wise and prepare your house for an evil time. Uh, you don't believe in occupying till he comes. Uh, I don't know what doctrine it is, but you know, as hypocritical as most of you are, uh, I guarantee you, you probably do have some food storage. I guarantee you that you're saving somehow, be it Federal Reserve notes, um, gold, silver, or whatever. I guarantee you that you're still doing it, no matter what. You're just doing it in a way that you've given yourself a pass uh, away from the prepper community. You know, in the old days, I remember my grandmother. Uh, she lived in a very rural country area, and she had a big old gigantic cellar. And in that cellar, she had canned jars. I mean, canned jars, canned food all over the place. That's the way that the old people used to do it. Uh, they didn't wait for a natural disaster. They didn't wait for a catastrophe to come. They didn't wait for some hurricane or some cyclone or typhoon or, or nuclear blast or something like that. They were prepared. They lived their life like that because in a grid down situation, there's going to be a weeping howl that goes all across this land. Um, do I believe that we're going to get raptured up out here before the Great Tribulation? Absolutely not. And it's easily to be proven. Absolutely not. So therefore, I think you ought to occupy because think about this for a second. Over and over, and over again, it says in the Bible, as it was in the days of Noah, you know what? Go back in my archives on this YouTube channel, right? And just type in Pastor Dow and Noah. Uh, it wasn't no more than a few weeks ago. I actually gave a good skit uh, while I was up preaching on Noah. You may all want to go and check that out and, um, and let your children sit down and look at it well because uh, it's very eye-popping and eye-opening. But Noah built the ark, did he not? Yah told him to build it, um, but Yah didn't come and build it himself. He had Noah to build it. And um, anytime someone that is preparing, um, now don't get me wrong, we prepare because of the instructions that is given in the Bible. Uh, consider the ant, you sluggard, look well to our ways. Um, and and uh, there's many, many other things we can say, but the bottom line is, is that I'm not gonna depend on the system that has trained me to be subordinate. I'm not gonna depend on the system that is actually really, truly, in some soft form, has, has trained me uh, to actually to depend on it. No, 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 no. If you do that, you're in some serious trouble because if you think the United States of America is going to warn you when a disaster comes, you can forget it. By the time they do warn you, it's over with. But um, we prepare simply because it's just wise to do. It's just a wise thing to do. Now, is our salvation and our preparation? No, but we just follow the wisdom of everybody else. Noah prepared. He prepared, he prepared an ark uh, to the saving of his soul. And that's pretty much basically what our community is. It's a preparing. It's an ark to the saving of our soul. Um, and I think you'll do well to do the same because there's a lot of people that trust in what they call Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And um, if your doctrine is wrong, if your theology is flawed, uh, the Jesus that you've been taught to believe in is not going to come and help you. It's just the truth. Um, you're going to find out that according to the law of Yah, the Torah, um, is that he will bless the labor of your hands. Um, a fool, someone that is a fool, uh, they would pass by and they would not be prepared, number one, spiritually, naturally, economically. Um, I'm telling you, it's bad if you don't prepare at all. Now, let's just say that he doesn't come. Um, Lord, let's go this route. Let's just say he does come. I've lost nothing. 
The people that are back here, they can have everything I got because I won't be here with them. No big deal. But let's just say a, a, an EMP takes place or a natural disaster takes place or a nuclear blast takes place and you are you know, within the 70 mile blast zone or something like that um, and you didn't get raptured up. Would you not be in a bad situation if you didn't prepare? No, you see, a wise man prepares his house. That's what he does. And Pastor Fox got it right. He just got it right flat out. Um, now, I don't trust in any of the things that we are doing here straightway. We're just preparing. That's it. Our salvation is in Yahshua. That's it. It's in Jesus Christ. That's it. And um, he's the one. And I, do I believe he's coming? Oh, boy. Do I believe he's coming? But not the way you believe he's coming. When he comes... Man, he's coming with a bang. And when he does come, you know, there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. Most of you have been preached a fairy tale. I mean a fairy tale. And Pastor Dow is not the institution that has reared you in lies and in fairy tale. I'm not the one that has told you lies and reared you in those lies all of your life. When Jesus comes back, Yahshua HaMashiach, the Messiah of Israel. He's going to be killing a lot of people for what people have done to his people. And his people is not those people over there across that pond. And then uh, I'll go ahead and address this. I think it's an ignorant, stupid, idiotic thing for people to be turning to the east, um, to that war torn um, city of corruption that the book of Revelation calls spiritually as Sodom and Egypt, Jerusalem. I think that you ought to be looking to Jerusalem, which is above. That's my own personal opinion. You can go check it out or not, but my own personal opinion lines up with what the Bible says. So be wise, prepare, uh, and don't let people deceive you thinking that you can be apathetic, lethargic, and lazy. You can be complacent in the time and hour that we're in. Look at Venezuela. Mm -hmm. There's going to be destruction. Uh, there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. Uh, there's going to be earthquake. Hey, we're dealing with the earthquakes right now in diverse places. We're watching volcanoes erupting. We're watching this earth literally reeling to and fro before the date, notable date, or the date and the coming. A notable day of the Most High God. He's coming, no doubt about it. Um, but you sure would be prepared until the time that he does come because the bottom line, um, before there was going to be any translation or rapture uh, of the assembly we have a wilderness experience and we're going to go off into we got to go there first before the rapture takes place or the great catching of way do i believe we're going to be changing a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump sure do but i believe it's going to take place at the last trump and not before then you heard truth true straight way have a good day